how XBRL works. I wanted to take a minute and just walk through exactly how XBRL works. So consider the following simple financial statement disclosure for inventory. We have a paragraph of text, and in that paragraph, we have multiple pieces of information, such as the valuation method for the inventory, what the inventory consists of, the values of inventory for 2006 and 2005. So what we have here is we have a chunk of text. This is unstructured text. A computer has a hard time with this because it, it's very difficult for a computer to go into this paragraph of information and find the discrete pieces of information within a large chunk particularly if it's done inconsistently. It's a lot easier for a computer to take small pieces of information and then put them together and to use those properly. So this is basically unstructured text. So the reality is that a computer really can't deal with anything that's unstructured. So it has to be structured in some manner. So if you've ever used WordPerfect, old word processor application, I think it's still around, but if you go into WordPerfect and you press the F5 key, you could reveal the codes. And you can go in to a word processing program and you can see that it does in fact have structure. So here's an example of structured text. You just have a tag. You have a chunk of text inside of two, a beginning tag and an ending tag. Here, just imagine that this is only one piece of a larger financial report. This is what we mean by structuring the text. Now, you can structure the information for presentation, and that's what a web browser generally does, so that a human can read the information, for example, on a web page. Or the same thing happens in a report, financial report in Word. The information is structured for presentation. So on the top, you see the tag, the markup, the tags. and the bottom, you see what that um, would look like, that information would look like if it was rendered for a human to use. But this is structured for presentation. And you, you really can't glean much meaning out of this information. Another way to structure information is to structure it for meaning. So here we have a bunch of tags, and these tags have things like, you know, inventory consists of stated at valuation method, value for 2006, value for 2005. What it, we have done is basically have taken that large chunk of text and broken out the information into this discrete values. Now, a computer can still render the information exactly like uh, the first presentation that we saw. And you can see that below. The tags are on top, obviously, and the uh, rendering is below. So, but what if every single company, they, they used this tagging method to tag their financial statements, um, and they use different tagging methods, and they use different terms for the different elements that they tag their financial information in. So would it be easier to get information out of financial statements today? Absolutely would be easier. But to do that for, if you want to do that for two financial statements, you'd have to understand the tagging approach that each used, and you'd have to understand the individual tags that each used. So. That's why um, if you take this one step further and you turn this into a global standard, which is what XBRL is, you have a global standard way which addresses the common issues that everybody has to address. It's one high quality tagging approach. You can still see all the information the same way you saw it before 
But as the SEC calls this interactive data, you can see it not only in this one way, you can see it in many, many different ways because it's very easy to reuse the information. Now, this may seem like a lot of work. You know, it's easier to type in uh, information to just a block of text, but that's actually a fallacy. So it actually takes a lot of information to know what it is that you need to type into that block of text. By breaking these things down, and when we have software that leverages these different tags, it'll actually be easier to create financial reports using this tagging approach. You know, it doesn't seem possible today. It just seems like a lot more work. But that's not the way it will be in the long term. But anyway, so that's kind of an overview of how XBRL works. Thank you.